This is the backyard the man created for the Murrays. When I first met with Oprah on the set of Wrinkle in Time just outside L.A., Action, Mrs. Who! We had no idea that just one year later, she'd come to embody the hopes and dreams of a new movement. The best part of the Me Too movement is not just what's happening in Hollywood, but that across the land and across the world even, we have been able to encourage and inspire other women who are waitressing, who are nursing. We've been able to let them know that their voices matter. This interview with four of Hollywood's most powerful women, Oprah alongside Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, and director Ava DuVernay. We will no longer be alone, and we will no longer be silenced about harassment in our industry or any industry. Yeah, I think it's really just about um, Hollywood needing to reflect the real world. And then you realize, oh, I'm a leader and a manager. And part of employing people is making sure that it represents an, uh, a world that you want to see behind the scenes as well. We heard a cry out in the universe. These women are more than the stars of the film. Be a warrior. She's a hate and a holler, y'all. They've formed a sisterhood, bridging age and race. It's about saying the boorish, brutish behavior that we have tolerated in the past will be no more. There's a new day. On the horizon! It was that speech at the Golden Globes that got the world talking. Would the billionaire mogul run for president? I am over. definitely <laughs> not running. <laughs> I know that you say it's not in your DNA, mm -hmm. and it's not in your spirit. It's not. But wouldn't Oprah Winfrey say, go out of your comfort zone? <laughs> <laughs> Do what scares you. You have to always be led by your inner GPS, regardless of how many Millions of people are telling you to do one thing. Inside yourself, mm -hmm. there is your own personal guide mm -hmm. that says, this is the way. I was with her, I was there in the room that night, and I talked with her the next morning, and I think she considered it for about two hours. I mean, it was so brief, and she just made the two decision hours? so quick. Did it's you? hard when you have people like Ava, my <laughs> dear friend Ava, you have Gail going, what? I think it's a sign. <laughs> I don't think it's a sign. <laughs> A sign of what? It was a speech, okay? Yeah. Have you guys talked to her about this at all? Well, Reese and I are running her campaign. <laughs> so she's saying no it's now. It's very viral. She's saying no now, but that's part of our yeah. campaign is for her to say We're no, no, no. It. We're working on it. It's fine, yeah. Presidential run or not, Oprah isn't shying away from politics. Recently donating half a million dollars to the March for Our Lives, that gun control rally in Washington organized after a mass shooter killed 17 people at Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. These young activists remind you of the Freedom Riders of the 60s. Yes. These young people have said enough. We are fed up and we are not going to allow uh, the kind of violence and uh, the killing of ourselves and our friends to, to continue in the way that it has. It's a message that may resonate with fans of A Wrinkle in Time, the children's classic about a girl named Meg. This is her father. And her quest across the universe to find her dad and her self-confidence. It's a uh, epic fight of good versus evil. What does, is this a parable for our times? You know, it's really a love letter to young people um, about finding the light within yourself in these dark and divisive times. Cut, nice. DuVernay presided over the massive operation. It's like being the general of an army. I mean, there's... 900. 900 people that she's in charge of. The Oscar nominee is the first woman of color to direct a live action film with a budget topping $100 million. We are in search of warriors. Her first big statement, recasting the book's young heroine as an African-American. You're kidding. Played by 14-year-old Storm Reed. I think well-rounded stories in Hollywood should can be inclusive of people of all colors. We just don't see that hardly enough. For myself, there were no Disney movies with little girl heroines that looked like me and Storm. Gugu Mbatha-Ra and Chris Pine play Meg's parents. What if we are not just in the universe, but the universe is within all of us. Pine, once again, surrounded by strong women as Wonder Woman's boyfriend, directed by Patty Jenkins, and now this. I found with Patty and Ava particularly, I guess a, a concentration and awareness of something bigger, that they're putting something bigger out into the world. It's yes. pretty much like Christmas <laughs> Is it like day. Christmas? What's it like working with her, seriously? 24-7 ins inspiration? <laughs> 
Mrs. What's it? Mrs. Who? No, Mrs. What's it? Mrs. Witch. Be a warrior. And Mrs. Who are the supernatural goddesses played by Reese, Oprah, and Mindy. You guys are Hollywood powerhouses. You're writing, you're directing. How does that sort of reflect on the movie and reflect back on you? I mean, I was ecstatic when I knew I was going to be working with these two because they are multi hyphen It's the definitions of that. Their intricate costumes and makeup channeling their characters' powers. I want someone to dress up as me for Halloween. <laughs> that has been my dream. Wait a second. I, I was going to say, I hope that somebody buys the three pack of us as dolls. Oh, and little girls yeah. get to play yeah, with them. From the first time we saw our <laughs> costumes, we went, I want that doll. Now they have one. This moment right now is my dream come true. <laughs> I love Barbies, and my ladies are holding their Barbies. Oh, I know. So I awesome. was saying this the other day, and somebody said, oh, this is your most proudest moment? I'm like, <laughs> you have no idea. When you started out with a corn cob doll, this is like good. out of this world. Yes. <laughs> and there's yeah. a lot of a lot of talk about what they represented, the body sizes, and that's one of the things with this, they're all different body sizes and shapes and face sizes and cultures. Is there such thing as a wrong size? <laughs> <laughs> Oprah is really enjoying playing with her doll. <laughs> And yet all that on-screen diversity and inclusion matters most in communities where families may not be able to buy tickets, which is why AMC Theaters and Color of Change are offering free screening. Where are we? In so many inner cities, there is no movie theater. I'm from Compton. To this day in 2018, there's no movie theater in Compton. And so when you're talking about how to get these kids to see these empowering images, you gotta go down to the brass roots. One of the great joys was to see her experience the film for the first time. And I was thinking of mm -hmm. not just her, but all the brown girls around the world who will see this incredible image and images of adventure and wonder and empowerment in a way that no one's experienced before. But despite all this progress, women are still far behind in screen time. A new report found only 24% of leading roles in 2017 went to women, down from the year before. Even fewer of those roles go to women of color. As the leading lady, Storm says she realizes the benefits of having these women as fairy godmothers. You were quoted as saying that you thought of Ava as a second mom. Yes. She... Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry? Um, she just, like, really fought for me. And just on set, she was just there for me. And it, she made me feel comfortable because this is my first lead role. You know? <laughs> Oh, that's, rough. Like that's rough. That's rough, kid. That's rough, kid. Yeah. It means so much to me to hear her say that because I don't have children by choice. And then I met Storm. And um, she's the only young person I've ever felt that way about. I'll tell you, with Ava, when I told her that I was pregnant, she started to cry, mm -hmm. you know? And for someone to just have that, like, instant joy for you, and I'm a single mother, and to just have that was, like, very moving. Good. Reese, what are your tears saying? <laughs> I just love all these women. <laughs> No, it's a real gift to be surrounded by women who are so sentient and caring. I remember Stormy said this most beautiful thing to Ava. She said, like, thank you for making me the lead and not the best friend. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, See, Jules. this is maternal energy. Can I just say, this, this is strike one, two, three, four, five. I've never seen that happen where five people are crying in an interview, OK? Uh, uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.